To aid in manatee health assessments, a specially designed boat is used to uh, deploy a net out around the manatee. The engine is up in the front and a very experienced crew is uh, secured onto the boat to make sure that the animal is handled and comfortable. Several support boats are also involved in the operation as well as aerial reconnaissance where a team is able to go up and when they identify and sight a manatee, the capture boat deploys the net out of the stern of the boat as it circles the manatee. Sometimes this is done at slow speed, and sometimes this is done at, at a, a higher uh, speed. The net is completely uh, placed around the manatee. It's about 500 feet in length, and the end of the net is uh, retained, and all of the net is pulled back into the boat, pursing around the manatee into a sack. And then, then the team, uh, under quite a bit of struggle, sometimes these animals weigh up to one to 2,000 pounds, pulls the manatee up onto the deck of the vessel. Manatees are aquatic mammals, and when they're out of the water, uh, they became pretty much uh, compliant and uh, allowed the team to do the examinations on the animals. They're brought to shore and uh, made perfectly comfortable. In this case, shade is supported uh, and supplied for the manatee on a hot summer day. In winter, manatees are kept warm while they're out of, their, uh, out of the water. The experienced team is, uh, is put together uh, and consists of uh, various different types of procedures. In this case, an ultrasound is used to measure the thickness of the subcutaneous fat layers and indices of the health and fitness of the animal. Um, heart rates are also taken uh, periodically during the period the animal is out of the water. And we're able to uh, draw blood uh, here from the medial aspect of the flipper and the blood is uh, sterilely um, uh, secured and supplied into special uh, tubes for various types of uh, research studies and uh, clinical analyses. This operation, uh, as the animal is out of the water, generally uh, takes less than an hour. Uh, morphometrics are obtained with a total body length and, and a series of girth measurements to give us information about the life history. Here water is doused over the nose which stimulates a breathing response 99. by the manatee when it's out of the water and the clinicians are able to use this to uh, mitigate uh, situations where the animal starts to hold its breath. Uh, poles are placed into the uh, stretcher and the animal is secured as is lifted uh, up and a weight is obtained for these animals. Uh, this weight information um, is very valuable in doing comparative work with uh, other animals over time or the same individual as it grows in length and uh, attains and achieves a, a higher weight. Water is placed on the animal to keep them moist and uh, in this case there are several several propeller slashes on this manatee a testament of previous encounters with boats and vessels. A specially designed floating transmitter called a GPS tag is placed on the manatee uh, it's attached to a belt that's non-invasively strapped around the uh, lower waist just in front of the tail and a little tether allows this transmitter to float off behind the manatee giving researchers valuable information about the movement patterns, migration, and habitat utilization of these manatees. After the brief examination, uh, which generally takes less than an hour, uh, the animal is prepared uh, by the team to be placed uh, back into the water. Uh, the manatee is taken back out into the uh, approximate area where it was initially captured and released, but this time with a radio transmitter, uh, so that it can be followed and monitored over time. Once manatees get these tags, they teach us a lot of information about their biology. Versus the boat-based type of uh, net capture operations, this is a shore-based operation. Here, one portion of the net is placed on the beach and as the net is pulled out of the stern of the boat uh, at a slow speed around the target manatee, uh, the animal is completely circled. Float line stays up at the surface and a, a weighted lead line uh, makes the uh, bottom of the net sink down to the uh, substrate and then as the uh, boat is received at the other end, the lead line is pulled in underneath the manatee and the float line over the manatee, again forming a purse. Uh, that traps the manatee into this uh, specialized net. Here multiple agencies are involved in this operation uh, for different federal, uh, state, and, uh, and NGO types of, um, of resources. Uh, here the manatee when it's pulled up may struggle briefly, uh, but generally when manatees are out of their aquatic environment and on a terrestrial element, uh, they become quite calm and, and complacent. This allows the researching team to uh, 
to do a complete physical uh, examination and workup on the manatee. Uh, it's placed on foam pads uh, and on top of stretchers uh, so that it's perfectly comfortable while it's out of the water. The uh, team uh, also uh, monitors the uh, oral temperature, heart rate, and respirations uh, throughout the course uh, to see how the manatee is responding uh, and if there is any major concern. Here Dr. Mike Walsh of the University of Florida leads a group of clinicians that examine the manatee and measurements are, uh, are taken uh, of the animal in the event that it's ever recaptured again we'd have life history information about the, uh, the manatee. Here a uh, different type of ultrasound machine is used uh, to look at uh, uh, injury to a lesion uh, that uh, was provided by a propeller and it uh, affected the bone beneath the skin and with this device uh, the clinicians were able to look at the involvement of the bone and determine whether or not it was uh, serious enough. If it had been serious the manatee would be pulled into captivity but the prognosis for this looked good so the animal was returned back to the wild. Here a passive integrated transponder chip similar to what you use on uh, your pet dog for identity is placed underneath the skin of the manatee and this allows uh, the research team in the event that they are to capture a manatee especially one that doesn't have unique scars for identity if they were able to capture the manatee again we'd be able to uh, identify that animal. The animal uh, also um, is routinely uh, doused with water uh, throughout the whole operation uh, to keep it comfortable while it's uh, on its uh, short visit with us on, uh, on terra firma. Here the manatee was marked uh, with a grease marker so that if it were to come uh, into the netting area again the uh, team would not uh, attempt to recapture it. Um, and as before, the manatee is placed onto the boat, uh, taken out into uh, deeper water in the channel, and, and released at the rescue site. Uh, these animals in this health assessment operation uh, yield uh, lots of information uh, that form a baseline of a data set uh, that is really going to help us understand the conservation of these endangered species, with especially concern about the uh, mitigations and problems that are occurring with habitat, habitat loss, and uh, their ability to survive among an, uh, a very ever-growing human population.